What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So Apple Drop, iOS 14.3, one of the most anticipated software updates that we've been waiting on, especially for photography. Uh, it has bought in what's called Apple Pro Raw. Now, Apple Pro Raw utilized the entire sensor that's on, on your iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max. Now, what that does is it takes a DNG file, a DNG photo, which is raw, and then your uh, editing software, if you have Adobe Lightroom, or you can do light editing on the phone, or you can download Adobe Lightroom on your device and do full editing. So if you downloaded iOS 14.3, uh, you do have to do some prelims before you can shoot in RAW. Now, uh, you have to go to your settings, all right? And once you go to your settings, you have to scroll all the way down to your camera app, all right? And then once you open up the camera, you have to go to what's called formats. And uh, by default, Apple have Apple Pro Raw is turned off. So you do have to toggle it on. Uh, and so once you open up the camera app, you now will see a new toggle, which is a raw toggle. Uh, now, again, at default, it's turned off. If you want to shoot a raw uh, photo, you have to turn it on. When you turn it on, it's going to utilize the full sensor, which is really nice. And then in post, uh, with Adobe Lightroom, you can edit it or you could try to edit it on your device, which is nice. So uh, this device here now is capable of shooting raw. Now, in the Android ecosystem, we've been having raw uh, and JPEG. So uh, people that's in the Android ecosystem, you already know about RAW and DNG files, but in the Apple ecosystem, they're now getting RAW support, which is great. Uh, so uh, let's go on and let me show you guys some footage here between uh, the JPEG file or RAW file that I edit in Lightroom. Also, I'm gonna give you some nighttime footage and I'm gonna give you a comparison between the Galaxy Z Fold 2 which I use raw on this device compared to the raw completely edited on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, again, you have to have the pro models in order to get raw support. So after the video, I'm going to give you commentary of what my thoughts about the iPhone 12 Pro Max using raw. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. So I hope you enjoyed that footage, all right? Let me give you some commentary 
uh, what are my thoughts about uh, using this device in RAW. Uh, one of the things that I, I do want to express that uh, the Apple iPhone JPEGs is really good in the daytime. I really do got some concern about this device at night, but even at night, if you're gonna shoot raw, you can make your adjustments accordingly. Now, what's so nice about uh, the, the raw footage here, you can do some adjustments. Just say, for instance, I go into uh, my photo gallery. Once I go into my photo gallery, now I have, I see a raw sign at the top if I shot a raw footage. With that all said and done, what I could do now is I could edit Okay, I can edit this footage. I can make all my adjustments accordingly using this to play no app. So you can adjust your exposure, your saturation, your highlights, uh, and your shadows. But if you want to get down deep into uh, a lot of editing, you do have to uh, download a third-party software like Adobe Lightroom or maybe some type of DNG uh, editing software, and you can do that right on the phone. So as I was editing some of the photos, some of the raw photos in Adobe uh, Lightroom, I found that it, it is true that some of the footage, some of the file sizes are really large. So I got 35 megabyte files uh, up to like 38 megabyte files. Uh, and I, the, the lowest one I saw was maybe 25 megabytes, but I've seen 25 up to like 35 megs when it comes down to the file size. Now you can download Adobe Lightroom on your device and you can make your adjustments right on the phone. Or you can use just the, uh, the editing software on the phone itself. So you can do, you can do auto, uh, you can do the, uh, the highlights, the shadows, the contrast, everything here, you could do this with the device software. But if you wanna get knee deep into doing some editing as far as bringing out your highlights and shadows or something like that, I would advise to get a DNG editing software or Adobe Lightroom. I've edited all my photos in Adobe Lightroom. So that would be the uh, the, the, the software of choice uh, if you want to edit your, your photo. As you saw in this video, I did raise up some of the highlights. Now, don't get me wrong. Remember, this is a cell phone. This is not a DSLR mirrorless camera. So you still got to you know, take that into account when you shooting at night, that even though you're using the full sensor, these are smartphones, it has limitations. Uh, but other than that, the footage looked really good. I didn't have no problems with the footage. The nighttime footage is still iffy. Uh, I'm still not sold on the nighttime photography on this device, but as far as the daytime photography, it's absolutely great. Now, one of the issues that I have uh, with the, this device when it comes down to the video and photos is the color science. It's for some strange reason, Apple color science is a little off to me. It makes everything yellowish and brown and that's what raw come in at. So you can take the raw and you can make your adjustments. You can change the tone. You can change the saturation. You can change your white balance. Uh, and I know this, uh, that this device, when you shoot like something white, sometimes it turns it brown. But when you're shooting raw, you could fix that and edit it. Other than that, I think it's came out pretty good. I mean, Apple, no, I mean, the cameras are good in the daytime, but the thing about it is all cameras are good in the daytime. It's all about the low light. And I think the low light is better uh, if you go shooting raw, you can definitely raise up the highlights and make your adjustments accordingly. But uh, the JPEGs, I'm just not a fan of the nighttime photography on this device. But overall, it's okay. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Apple Pro Raw and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.